Yo, what's happening? It's me, CD Rome. And this is another episode of Watch Your Narrative Presents Truth by Rome. So this is a a, a break that, a break away from the norm of the Watch Your Narrative podcast where we have several different panelists talking about basketball. This one is a little bit more intimate, a little bit more intimate, uh, a little bit more uh, casual. You know, we're going to talk about different things more than just the NBA, more than just the basketball, more than just the fantasy. If we if we touch it, it's going to be also about my life, you know, life in general. Uh, so uh, we want you to sit back, relax and, and and just enjoy the show. So who we have today? Um, I'm actually really excited about this this particular episode. Um, this is a um, you know a dear friend of mine. Um, we've been been knowing this guy since I moved here for the last ten plus years. So I've watched him go from a uh, young man to a uh, uh, man that's trying not to be old. But he, you, you're getting there, buddy. You're getting there, buddy. Um, but either way, um, we we are uh, water and oil sometimes. Just to keep it a keep it a bean. Uh, we definitely go back and forth quite a bit. Uh, but it's all love, all love, brother from another mother. And I think that um you guys will be excited to see this episode. Without further ado, coming to the stage, we got big wavy. Big wavy. Five times. In this case, wavy for ill. That's what he says. Wavy for ill. <laughs> what's happening man what's going on what's going what, on what's up man welcome to the show man um you're actually one of the original panelists from watch your narrative podcast the original watch your narrative podcast man so appreciate you for making watch your narrative really what it is today the back and forth between you and uh ace boogie have been what i would call legendary uh <laughs> as you say anti JP, you know, <laughs> yeah, man, the opposite. <laughs> yeah. So, man, we appreciate it, man. You got a lot of Arvin gear on right now, though. I, I don't. Well, you, baby. Hey, man, I really do. Please, warning. <laughs> if I'm feeling the Arvin gear, man, I like you knew where you was coming. I, I really think you're, you're trolling me here because you knew what, you, what we was doing. Gotta here. represent, man. This is ridiculous, bro. Gotta so, represent. Absolutely. But we'll talk about that later and they'll kind of get some of my reasoning behind it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, oh, we definitely gonna have to touch it. We got to definitely touch it. So listen, this this is your uh, first time on the, on this particular show. Um, this is watch your narrative truth by Rome, but this is gonna be the truth by truth by Wavy. So mm -hmm. only thing I ask is tell the truth. That's it. That's all we got. Yeah, and that's and that's easy. So, but I wanna before we get into like, you know, uh, you know, the basketball and the the 2K and stuff like that, um, I really want, I really want, because this is the other thing is about people really getting to know um, Chris and getting to know Wavy outside of the the hoops, outside of the basketball. So talk a little bit about your upbringing. You know, I know a little bit about it, but just kind of tell me what what made Wavy Wavy for you. So uh, first off, the name Wavy actually came from my granddad. Uh, when I was little, I, it looked like I had an S curl in my hair. And he used to always say, Yo, look at that wavy hair, baby. Look at that wavy hair, baby. So that's something that the family would call me from uh, time to time, and it just kind of stuck. And then uh, I, uh, we'll, we'll start with, with where I was born. I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, 1995. Man. Stayed there until about 98, 99. Mm -hmm. Came to Jacksonville, Alabama. Been there, been in Alabama ever since. Now, we would travel back and forth to Tennessee to see – uh, my folks over there, but that so I claim I claim Memphis, even though I was pretty much raised up in in Bama. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm currently in Talladega right now, Alabama. Uh, like it here, been here for about three years now, which is crazy when you think about. Well, really four years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah when you think that. about it, so been here a little bit. Um, I'm just a regular, regular individual, man. I, I you know, I, I, I don't get too high, I don't get too low, just. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Watch your narrative. <laughs> Watch your narrative. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I call cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get high. You get high for sure. You get high. Yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. So but, you know, uh I I I really I'm a I'm a southern I'm a southern boy, definitely. Mm -hmm. From 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 everything. Like I just I love I love it down here. I love the 
country. I like. I, I mean, I'm. You know, well, you know, cowboy boots. Yeah, skinny oh, pants, yeah. and and, oh, yeah. and yeah. So hold it <laughs> yeah, hold it down. So, uh, so so your mom, Miss Ke Keetra. Yes, yes, Miss Keetra. Um, it was in, in your house. Really, it was you and your sister. Yes. And, so and it was. Go ahead. Uh, it was so it was me, my mom, and my sister. Now my dad was around for until I was about thirteen. Uh, he was in the navy, and so he would be stationed here, stationed there, and we used to go with him. That's how we, I went. We wound up in Memphis. Actually, he was stationed out there for a little while, and we used to, you know, he he lived in the house with us. Of course, you know, they was they was shacking. Let's keep it a bean. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, they when they broke up. My mom moved back to Alabama with her, where my grandmother stayed, which is in Jacksonville, and my granddad stayed, which is in Jacksonville. So she moved closer to her uh, family. See, that's something I didn't know, um, because I didn't know how long you, I I knew that you know eventually the relationship didn't pan out, but I, I right. how long he was there thirteen years I didn't I didn't realize that so right. But for for you and I've been in that situation before, where you know single single you know mom household yeah. you're and you're the basically boy man becoming a had man had to grow into family. it real fast had yeah, to so grow real fast, fast man. Like, so how was that? Because you're the older brother, you're the older mm -hmm. you got your little sister, and then you got your mom. Like how how did that like shape you know grow? I always felt like I had to, uh, especially when he really stopped. Like when they stopped dealing with each other completely. I always felt like I had to be the protector and to take up that mantle. And yeah. I'm not going to lie. He didn't prepare me for that. He didn't prepare me for, for manhood. Like I, it was a lot of mistakes I made coming up that could have been prevented. If I simply had a, a guy there to say, got son, it. like, don't yeah. do that. Like a man, not even a guy, a man to say, son, yeah, you know, don't do this. Don't go this way. But he was making terrible decisions himself. So he really couldn't give me some, no advice. And, you know, actually, uh, when I turned about 18, we actually had a full conversation about it. And it's kind of helped because I was, I was, which I still went down a terrible path, but he, he saw where I, he was trying to help, even though I didn't have that much respect for him because of how he handled my mom and how he handled his family. Yep. So we, I wouldn't say we're, we're, we have the best relationship now, but it's, it's a, it's a mutual respect now since I've grown older. So. Okay. And, and that was actually something I was going to, going to, going to touch on too. Cause see, I can you know, speak for myself. Like my, my dad wasn't there, but then my mom did get remarried and my stepdad was right. for some time. And, and of course there was, you know, good times, bad times, whatever. And, and now he's doing an excellent job taking care of my mom now. So it's, it's all right. love now, but we had right. to get back to that, that spot when I got right. older. So like, I guess the, like when when I guess when he stepped out of the picture, um, and you kind of alluded to it a little bit about already, kind of like how that you didn't understand, like, okay, well, now I gotta become a man, but nobody directed me. Do you yeah. feel like him not being there was that a hindrance? Or uh, or did you have because I know just like just like me, we both had probably a lot of examples in our, you know, in the congregation that probably did kind of you look to a little bit. So how was yeah. that or is like so didn't that was my saving grace. Uh, I know you. I think you met brother brother Ben a few times. He was at my wedding. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I t when I tell you he was definitely sent from above yeah. to help guide me. Like I I can't like I, I almost get emotional thinking about it because like he came around when I was twelve mm -hmm. and been with me to I mean to now at twenty nine years old like. Yeah. Like if I didn't have him, I don't, I don't, I don't know, bro. I might, yeah. I like, I feel like I might be incarcerated somewhere or, you know, not doing, doing what I'm doing right now, being a family man, yes. having a family. I don't, I just, yeah. some of the stuff he taught, even though he was not in the house with me, he still was a, the guy, the man that I crave at that age saying, Hey, Hey son, don't, you know, don't do that. Don't no, 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 Chris, we're not doing that. No, yeah. you need to chill out. Yeah. Like, I, you notice, I, well, you know, I laugh a lot. I used to not be that way. I used to be super serious, try want to be, want to be gangster. You know what yeah. I mean? You seen, you seen it come out of me a few times. Yeah. But like, he's the one that taught me to laugh stuff off. When somebody say something crazy to you, you know what I mean? He was the one that was like, yeah, just laugh it off, man. Let it go, move on. That's how I'm able to let go of grudges and let go of, of you know, animosity towards anybody so quickly because he taught me and train me in that aspect because I, I I feel like my mom raised me 
and she did a good job. But as far as training me for certain stuff, there's certain stuff that a man, like, I know you with CJ. I know you with CJ. There's yeah. certain stuff that a, only a man can train his son to do. We can raise all we want. Yeah. Hey, be good. Be nice to everybody. But training yeah. your child, ch like, he was able to train me in certain stuff. So yeah. I really uh, I really appreciate him to this day. Yeah, that's 110%. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I was blessed to have uh, quite a few different father figures that I was able right. to look to. Um, and he wasn't the only one either, but he was the main guy for me. Yeah. He was the main guy. Yeah. yeah. And, and I had some that, you know, and of course, every father figure, even myself, I'm not perfect. So none of us are perfect. So you can right. see mistakes made. And then you can also see ones that are doing, you know, doing differently. So I was able mm -hmm. to do that and be like, okay, don't move this way. Don't make, you know, try not to do this. Mm -hmm. you know, let, let's move this way. Even if the person was mm -hmm. um, doing a great job in all other spectrums, sometimes they can still slip up on others. So, right. I, I for, let's. I'm gonna go back to this because this was. I remember when when I first met you. What do you remember? Do you remember the first time? I I do. We was at Spring Street, Rick. Yep, Spring Where Street. I met, most of my friends from here. So Spring yeah. Street, Rick. And so I remember before before because I I heard about you before before we got into the tournament because you were talking real 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 hot. At least yeah. what because you know I had yeah. my team. JP had his team. You had your team, and then it was a another team that was um uh, i think jason young brought yes so it was like a 14 tourney yes and I, you and jp i guess i don't know if it was social media instagram or something i, I don't know it was a lot of back and forth but jp was like yeah man, i can't wait i, I got to get him i got to get him I right get him. and i remember um skipping past that when we actually you know kind of to talk started talking or whatever um and i and i got to know you a little bit one of the things that stood out was kind of what you kind of talked about like you know you, you had a little you had a little, little gangster in you a little bit you know yeah little, yeah yeah a little rough around the end definitely past those days man it, yeah. it ain't so, so my, but, my young listeners is not worth it don't even yeah. but so, we'll but, talk about it <laughs> but what helped you get to that point though like you know because get to the point that i'm at now yeah like what how did you okay so i'm not gonna lie um and i'll be honest with you uh the friends that, that I kept, uh, I'm sure you'll do an interview with him, but Lion, number one, uh, and and it's and not even just Lion, Lion's dad. When I tell you, uh, his dad literally became like my dad as far as like he 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 would love on me. Like I'll be asleep on their couch, and he'll come slap me in the face and walk off while I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, but then he would get onto me when he seen I was going down bad past like one night i know I, I came to this house and it was like three o'clock in the morning and i'm getting up to leave now i ain't gonna say what i was going to do but i'm getting up to leave i'm like 18 19 i'm getting up to leave and he's like hey where are you going he woke up he, he was waiting for me to it was i like jumped when he yeah <laughs> when yeah. he said hey 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 son because he you know referred to me as son or whatever and he we talked that morning and you know i kind of you know told him some stuff i was going through and that's how we got to be close uh JP, another guy uh, who sought me out when I was about 16, 17 and would take me to play basketball with him in Birmingham. He would literally go meet my mom in Mumford, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from Talladega. Yeah. Drive me to Birmingham and bring me back to Mumford. This is, and, and you know, like, I used to be like, bro, I, I don't get why he does it. Wouldn't ask me for, I would give him gas money and stuff, but wouldn't ask me for gas, nothing. He would just do it out the kindness of his heart. Like, so he's really like a big brother figure. And then uh, you have come to become a big brother figure for me. Cause I know uh, when we first met, yeah, that ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't like you bro. Like, and I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Like it was because we were playing basketball and like, believe it or not, I do talk a lot on the court, but I don't talk trash to people unless they start talking to me. Right. And that's real. If you start talking to me, I'm a, and I, even to this day at 29, if you start talking to me, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna talk to you, but yeah. I'm not gonna stop. Yeah. But then I realized you wasn't gonna stop. And I was not oh. having a good good day that day. Yeah. You know how you get to the gym and you playing against somebody and they talking trash and you already playing bad and they still yeah. talking to you. Yeah. So, but we was able to move past that. I think you've helped me a lot in certain instances. Uh, I know that 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 day, that fateful day at the uh, wreck where I, you know, challenged the, the kid that I thought was about 25, yeah, yeah. 25 yeah. 16. He was like 15. <laughs> That was actually uh, the turning point in me taking my spirituality series. I think I was about 22 at the time, and I was, like, moving crazy. But 
that was the turning point. I remember J- JP called me like a few days later. He let me simmer down. He called yeah. me. It was right before I was going to work. Uh, mm-hmm. I was working at Walmart at the time. And he called me. He was like begging. He was like, please, whatever you're doing, stop. <laughs> like, he literally, that's basically what he said. So yeah. from then on, I took my spirituality series. And I think I've, I've turned, definitely turned a new leaf. Now, sometimes, you know, you, you get with certain ones and old oh, habits. Oh, come back. Come back. They, they come, come back. back. But yeah. as far as controlling it, and, and even now, like, I, I, didn't, I knew it was going to happen. I was kind of afraid of it. My wife has calmed me down so much. Cause you know, I, even even if I, I had calmed down, but I was still a firecracker. Yeah, and like she's kind of helped with that too. Like, give it a, a woman's perspective on how I act with y'all, how I act with different folks. Like, yeah. she's really, really helped me. Her and Samira. So, yeah, you know. no, and I'm glad you went there because that's where I was gonna kind of go next. Anyway, was um the lovely Miss Taylor, you know, yes. as knowing you and, and as you, you brought it you kind of alluded to it a little bit you know me and you we had a rocky start and it, it was all basketball stuff it was nothing right I didn't really at first really know you personally it was right. totally knew you on and if anybody knew me on the court a lot of people probably didn't like me because i just oh i, I yeah i still got a reputation to this day bro that's what i'm like, saying like I, yeah so but if if you got to know you or you get to know me then you know like oh it, it's all love at the end of the day mm-hmm. so I knew that like when you got serious, but, but I guess before I even get there, how how did you meet her? And how did you like when did you know like this is the one? Like I this is the one. All right, so so <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I did backdoor somebody to get to Corey. Uh now the brother that knew Corey, I was real close with at the time. And he was he was kind of like he was telling me about her qualities and aspects but he's kind of playing around like not making a decision not being serious and you know I, I didn't like it now I didn't I didn't dirty Mac or nothing but when he told me they had stopped talking I was like oh <laughs> opportunity right here so I DM'd her uh what the first time it was like two years two let's see three, two, 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 we've been together three four so we've been together a total of going on four or five years um I DM'd her for three months straight. DM'd her, no response. Red, red at seven seventeen p.m. December twenty fifth, twenty nineteen. Yeah. Red yeah. at the, you know what I mean. So, you know, I I try I I legit tried to get at her. She wouldn't she wouldn't talk to me, bro. And then I forgot I forgot what I think COVID had hit. It was COVID had just started, and I was like, look look, and I'm gonna tell you what I said to her. Because it, it was smooth. To me, it was smooth. I said, I don't know what your situation is, but I'm if you if you don't have a situation, I'm trying to be your situation. Oh. And she came for it. She went for it. She went for it. So we talked, got together. Uh, and when I knew she was the one, uh, I went. No, she came on a trip down here and, like, we uh she had got into it with a family member and a family member kind of you know went and did their own thing so she was hanging with me and my family the whole weekend and she was able to blend in vibe you know she just fit in with my family real well yeah uh she was i mean she, we came to y'all house we, i mean jp's house but y'all were there yeah she fit in with the friends group real well and my last girl i was with she wasn't trying to be close to my friends. She she like she literally told me, "Don't bring line next time you come to see me. Don't bring line and chat with you." Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, did not like that. Took offense yeah. to that. Like those are my those are my my guys. You yeah. know what I mean. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so when she I saw she was vibing with them and the way she treated me, the way she reciprocated the energy I was giving, I knew it then, bro. Knew it then. That's yeah. all I'm afraid of. Because every relationship I've been in, bro, it's either they was going too hard. Or I was going too hard. And it was mostly them going too hard. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Not saying I'm a player or nothing. I'm just saying they just, they was just like, we're getting married at this date and ha ha ha. And I'm like, whoa, chill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah. this one, nah, this was a little bit different. Yeah. I knew I had got it right this time. Yeah. Cause like, I remember, cause I remember that when, when she came, when she came through. And, um, and I, and I guess I'll get to this question cause, um, Samira, you know, so you yeah, have, you have that going on. Was that scary for you? Were you, because, you know, that's, that's a whole No, uh, I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. Like, 
I had had so much practice with my baby cousin Brianna that it was just I, like Samira just jumped into like it was so it was seamless like like just you know having her you know having her and being with her since you know baby baby like yeah it's just it was seamless like that like I honestly I'm gonna be quite, I'm a whisper I kind of like her more than Corey at this point. <laughs> <laughs> But like me and Samira's personality, like she definitely has adopted and got my personality, bro. Like it's it's crazy. Like some of the stuff she says, like we'll be in the car riding, bro, and it sound like me talking, and then I sound like my mom talking to me back in the yeah. day. Like yeah. so that that that's been the the greatest joy. I enjoy being a dad. I just I enjoy I, I love being a dad. Like that I've always wanted to be a dad. I always wanted to have kids, and so Samira came along, and. Yeah. You know, and we we it's just been it's been seamless. You can tell Jehovah is a part of all that because it's just everything's been seamless so far. Like yeah. Yeah. no issues. Uh, she, like I said, she's a joy. She's a joy. Even though she it's she could be annoying, and I mean y'all, you know, you know, yeah, all kids, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, gosh, but having having girls, she, man, it's, it's yes, tough. yes. Yeah. So so I think that um that do but that does help though too though because like even right. from, like forcing you to grow up and mature like i know right. when, when cj got here it was um you know i mean of course you know as you know as, as a guy you still got your things that you do but then you got to realize like man i gotta i gotta focus on you know i gotta focus on this you know give this kid or this child you know just as much as my attention now that i give my wife yeah. it forces you to kind of really yep. into perspective too Ooh, man you know? yes so to 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 switch gears a little bit uh -huh. um Let's jump into sports. Let's, let's jump, get it. Yeah, let's jump into sports, man. So, like, um, before I get into basketball, I got you know you got the you got the shirt on, so I got to address it. Man. So, can I finally reveal oh, why yeah. I have so much loyalty to Auburn? Please. So, I didn't know. tell anybody. Only those close to me know. But I actually graduated from there with a mechanical engineering degree in 2019. I went to school online and got a degree from Auburn. People wow. don't know. That's actually what I do now. I don't. I haven't told many people this. Only people that knew is the people that I work with at my job, my wife, my mom, and their family. I don't tell many people because, in some instances, higher education where you know we're in front is kind of frowned upon. Like they feel like you know it'll mm -hmm. take you away from our who we serve, and it it, yes. it take it it'll take you away. But let me tell you this, uh, because we I mean people know we we're Joe's witnesses, um and. I will tell you this. I went to Gaston State for two years, and then I finished up there. When I tell you that if you want to serve Jehovah, you're going to serve. It don't matter where. It don't matter if you're in a jail cell. It don't matter if you're paraplegic. It don't matter if you in in, in Tidig, Alabama or Guantanamo Bay. It don't matter. You're mm -hmm. going to serve them. So people, you know, were very scared. But I, I was taking classes online, so really, I mean, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I yeah. didn't have the interaction. Have the like, campus. Yeah, you have to worry about campus life either, though. Right, yeah. right. So I, I never was technically on campus, but I did graduate with a degree in that from there. So that's how I, that's what I do now at my job is in, uh, in, I do quality engineering, but it's a part of it. So, yeah, no, that, that's why I, I, I this is all my, I be saying I don't know if you know, but I was like, that's my alma mater. That's what I yeah, be saying. I mean, like, people, I, I, but everybody yeah. say that, you know, like because even you yeah. know, I ain't go to Alabama, but you know, hey, I yes, think as much part of it, you know, yes. But see, no, nah, that's something I didn't know. I didn't know that at all. Yes, so, yes. I, I don't tell. I don't. It's just to me. I'm. I'm not. I. I'll. Bra I'll. Bra like people think because I brag a lot on two. Like I'm this on two K and I'm this in real life with basketball stuff like that. I don't because I don't like it because. When I was going through my situations, I would hear people being successful. I could not stand when they was bragging about what they doing. So yeah. that's something I just kind of kept on the wraps, and you know, and I can appreciate that too. Cause... I'm revealing it here on uh, watching watch watch your narratives. New form, uh, the truth by Wavy. Truth is by, that what we call truth, it? Yeah, truth by Wavy. This episode yes. is truth by Wavy. So this is Got all you. true stuff, man. So you know, yes, this, so. this is your. We well, yeah, uh, that is that. that is that is why I I am a and you know some people have questioned my allegiance to Auburn. Well, growing up in you know coming from Tennessee, my granddad is a huge Tennessee Volunteers fan. Right. My dad is a huge Tennessee Volunteers fan. So I did used to rock the gear, but I've always like 
I've always loved when I can you know, you got to pick a team when you come here. Yeah. And that was the team I chose. So, yeah, that's yeah. why I, that's 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 the reason behind it. I could not wait to I was hoping you would ask me about that. Yeah. Tonight, so I could finally reveal well, it. Well, speaking of the volunteers, man, shout out to the GOAT, man, Pay Manny. You know, just want to throw yeah, that out there. Yeah, yeah. Just want to throw that out there. The real, goat, the real GOAT. <laughs> the real GOAT. The real GOAT, you know. Um, But anyway, I ain't going to bring up the New England Patriots, you know. The, nah, we good. The, I don't want to talk about them right yeah. now. <laughs> I don't. You know, since 12, the things have changed. So, so, but a little background with that. That is the first. Football. The first football game I ever watched was them versus the Rams in the Super Bowl oh, where they won. Okay. So I, I yeah. that was the first. They won. I, I like the D and I and I really didn't even care for Tom Brady. Believe it or not, that hey I like a good defensive team and the Patriots defenses back then were crazy elite, bro. You had Brewski, you had uh Harrison, like they yeah. you had some guys. Uh, uh, what's his name? The big guy from he played at Tennessee, I believe. The big guy. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I'll figure it out later. But I, he he was on the team. Like it was some, they had some ballers on defense. Yeah, so for sure, uh, that well, we can skip the pages. I don't want to talk about them too. Yeah. I really didn't want to talk about all of them. Like, we lost that tournament and the last couple of years been rough. Yeah, they, hey, hey, they you know well, they had a good little basketball team. What was it? A couple was a couple years ago. They did decent. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was I expected more. But yeah, we, we can we can move forward because I do want to get to basketball or NBA. Yeah, sure. Oh, pro stuff, pro stuff. So yeah. number one. For you, when you know, because you know you hoop. So when did yeah. you like fall in love with the game of basketball? Uh, you gonna like this? I fell in love with the game of basketball with NBA Live two thousand one, and Kevin Garnett was on the cover mm -hmm. of that game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just give you my people. These are my people that got me into basketball. Love basketball to this day. Kevin Garnett. Yep. Dirt and the whiskey. Mm. Uh, Sean Marion, believe it or not, I used to love him. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Durant, of course. Like we, I know yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, talk yeah. about him. Yeah, yeah, he gonna. Yeah. And then uh, I like Kawhi Leonard, and I'm, and that's an odd pick for me because Kawhi Leonard is not a talker. Yeah. But like, I love guys that can play defense and 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 dominate their matchup, and he was one of those. He's one of those guys to do that. Same with Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett is more my speed. As you know, he be talking to you, talking crazy to you, yeah. but he go also back it up. Yeah. So those are my yeah. five guys that got me into uh basketball. No, that's that's dope because uh because I because I love some KG too, man, for the same reason like that, just that heart, that energy, this that, and it's he it starts on the defensive side for him. Like, yes. New offense. Yes. Like man, I can get a bucket when I want to. Yes. I'm I'm gonna stop. He won MVP. I mean, he won an MVP. Oh yeah. In, oh, yeah. in Minnesota, like oh, yeah. in. That's, I mean, honestly, until now, ever since he's left, Minnesota has been a basketball wasteland. And but now, now Anthony and Anthony Edwards is number six on that list for me. When hey, KD retired, that's who I'm going to, bro. Hey, I'm bro, telling he, you right yeah, now. Hey, hey, I'm telling you right now. I'll be right there with you, bro. We both yes, sir. Minnesota gear on. I tell you, because I, I that kid there, you know, I think bro. we talked about it on the uh on the you know watching air the podcast. Um, new yes. episode came out. Uh, new episode. I wasn't able to make, but I wish I could have. Yeah, new episodes on Thursday, 7 a.m. Make sure I mention that new episodes Thursday at 7 a.m. Um, but um when Central, 7 a, 7 a.m. Central. So, but we talked about that a little bit about Anthony Edwards, because you know, you 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 remember the list we came out with. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't even make the top 15 list when we did it. Mm -hmm. It was only one person. I wanted I, to put he was on my hey, honorable mentions. I wanted yes. to put him on there. He was on everybody's Wait, honorable did I put him on there? Huh? Yeah, be made. Yeah, B Mays had like 13, but the crazy thing is, we all was like, bro, what are you doing? Anthony Edwards, that's too soon, you know, because we all knew he was coming. I think I put him on there, said, did I not? I mean, it could have been you. I couldn't remember. Because, you know, I always put one young guy on there, and I put uh John Morant years ago, and we yeah. seen what happened with him. So I think I did, but. Yeah, yeah, but but either way, like, KD. Let's talk about KD. All right, yes, let's, let's talk about KD. So. KD is what I what I consider the perfect basketball player. He tall, of course. And he got to be got to be tall. Yep. He can move. He can dribble. He can shoot. And now in his later years, the last probably five six years, he's added defense to his game. Now, look, I definitely agree with Stephen A. Then when they said he should not have went to go to state, it was completely unfair. 
I'm not, I show no bias in that, but you still got to go and win. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, think about it. How many times have we been on the game playing with stacked teams? It'll be me, Greg, Yo, Austin, Terrence. And I guess I named five right there. If not, if not yeah. correct me. Yeah, that's five. Yeah. Yeah. And we get beat by 20. By, and I'm not trying to say you boot, but I'm, I'm just going to get some names. We get beat by 20 by said Lee, Brian. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we get yeah. beat by people that get called boot all the time. Yeah. That's, I mean, if he did not win, like, I would have rather Kevin Durant won the championships than not have won. Because if he had let Bron come and beat him on them stat Warriors teams, we have no choice oh, yeah. but to get Bron, Bron to go. go. We have to. He'd go. We He'd have go. to. Yeah. I, would, so, I would have to say it. Yeah. Like, and I get that he's made, he made, that was the one blemish on his career. And it's a big blemish, but I feel like over the net last the last four or five years, he's made up for it with that Herculean effort versus the Milwaukee Bucks, where his foot was on the line if his foot doesn't touch the line Kevin Durant probably gonna win the championship that year because the Bucks won a championship versus the Suns and ain't nobody if they couldn't guard Giannis you think they're gonna be able to guard a seven foot shooter like so that's a woulda coulda shoulda right moment but like I have I've watched Kevin Durant since he was at Texas battling with Greg Oden I was actually mad the Blazers took Greg Oden and I understand why seven feet tall center you know what I mean I mean you got to like yeah, be right. Like he could shoot, he could dunk. He was dominant in college, but Kevin Durant like came out game ready. I remember when I stayed up. It was on TNT Thursday night. Marv Albert, uh, all of Reggie Miller, Rick Barry. I remember the guys who were calling the game. It was Katie's first game versus guess who? Your guy. I know Melo. Melo. Yeah. And yep. KD and Melo, like for him to be a rookie first game and battling with one of the best scorers who ever played the game. Because, by the way, Melo is also on that list of people that got me into basketball because I wanted to pray. I wanted to tax. I wanted to be just like Melo. NBA Live 2005. My granddad took me to Walmart greatest, at 12 a.m. to go get that game greatest, when it yeah. dropped. Greatest live game ever. Yeah. It was. It was. Oh, That's when they introduced the dunk contest. Yes, yes. sir. PlayStation yes. 2. Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes sir. Uh, yeah. But, like, for him to come, I was just like, wow. And, like, watching, I just never seen somebody that tall moving. Like, and they said George Gervin. And I watched George Gervin how like it ain't like I ain't get the, the inspiration of why they say that, but it ain't the same, bro. It ain't the same. It ain't the same. I, I was the same. So I watched uh, this was I was still watching college hoop like you know all the time then. So I right. watched KD. I watched KD's freshman year at Texas, and mm -hmm. same thing. I was like, where is this dude gonna fit when he get to the NBA though? Like I didn't know. I, I knew he was going to be like so. I honestly I, I knew he was gonna be better than Greg O. No, all respect to Greg O. And I know he's a seven footer. But I was just looking at this guy, you know, 16, 6, 11, 7 foot basically, like moving the way he was moving. He wasn't shooting as deep as he is now from the three, but everything was just smooth outside. The crazy game. part is said, you said fit, and, and it's like he's the the uh universal remote. He can go on any team and fit oh, yeah. right in. For but the only problem now, the only problem I have with KD, last night they beat the Nuggets. And you want to know why they beat the Nuggets? Because KD was assertive and he was the first option. Yeah. In order for the KD to win with this Suns team, look, D and this is my only knock against Kevin Durant is he's not assertive enough. But he has to be the first option in order for them to win a chip with this team because they don't have enough defense. And Devin Booker, I love Nadell. I think he's a great player, but he ain't hit that. He's he's just been inconsistent his whole career as far as production. Like one game he'll come out and get you thirty two and seven. The next game, he giving you 15 points, three assists off, off 10 for 30 shooting. Mm -hmm. Like, Kevin Durant is a, 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 another thing I like, consistency. I know what I'm getting from Kevin Durant every game. 25 yeah. points, about five, six, seven boards, five, six, seven assists. Like, I know what I'm getting from him every game. It's the same thing with LeBron. This is why I have developed a respect for LeBron, who is, to me, KD's real rival. I mean, K uh, KD's real rival, not Steph Curry. I think it's LeBron still. Because uh, every time, let's let's let let, let, let me say this because I know, I seen you make a face what? every time. Steph and LeBron have went together where they're the two guys on the team. There's no extra guys. LeBron has won the matchup. Oh, he every lost, time he lost in fifteen. Okay, that's how Steph Curry got his first chip. Hey, listen, bro. Just saying, I would lose too if my if my point guard knee cracked on national television. Well, I mean, but listen, and Kevin and Kevin and Della Vadova helped Kevin Love get a concussion. Come on, so, man. The, the, they the was winning that chip. The biggest difference for Steph and those two guys, 
is Steph Curry is 6'3", 180. Then you got a, a seven foot he, he and you got eight two fifty. You know, yeah. so at the end of the day, I agree. I agree. It, Steph Curry it, is more relatable to us because we're near his size. Yes, and that's why and I, I, I've been trying to figure out why people love him so much. Oh yeah, and that's because he there he's relatable. You're six yes. three going against. He's, he's, he's not that athletic. He's not that athletic. Not, yep. Yep. And, I mean, he's not that fast. If we've been, I mean, but he's, he's the best. He's the, West, the best shooter to ever play. Also, bro, I'm gonna tell you too. When that Joker was at Davidson. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. was like, this dude is going to be special. And, and I, I, I just, I, I could not believe what I was saying. He went and he beat some, some, some st like tenured tournament teams at Davidson with no name. Another player on that team. I'll wait. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what thing about about Steph though, and I give him this. Uh, I had a buddy of mine in, in high school. He he loved Steph. Like he was he was you know on the Davidson ride, and that's I I watched him. But I was like, it ain't. I felt like it wasn't going to translate to the NBA because I'm like, at that point you had the Steve Nashes, you had like those traditional point guards. So I'm mm -hmm. like, it's not going to transition over because number one, he's so small. He was super skinny at the time. Mm. Six, yeah. Six three, very slender. And yes. he's like baby face guard. So like, what position is he gonna play? He can't play it too. He's too small. So I and plus when he drafted him, I was a big Monte Ellis fan, bro. Monte Ellis was my that was my dude. Yeah, man. And so I did. He like, from the south too, so we had yeah, to love him. I didn't him. like. I didn't like. I didn't. Yeah. Or I didn't think Steph Curry would fit, but man, I was super wrong. And even when he won uh MVP the first season, I still wasn't and won the championship. I still I wasn't convinced either. I wasn't convinced. And I wasn't convinced. I, I had and Lee then when KD had. came, no, before KD, like, well, KD, he was getting they the was unanimous, unanimous yeah. year won the MVP that year. I think it was 16, they won 73. That was and lost. Oh, do you remember the game? I know you do because you're a KD guy. It was Golden State versus OKC. And I have a Snapchat video I will send you of me after that game, bro. When he pulled up from 45 bro. feet with seven seconds left, bro. And, and let me tell you, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. That's your fault. You should have picked him up full court. You're bigger and stronger than him. Get up on Why him. did you let him pull that? Bro, I thought him. the game was over. Yeah. And I thought that. Because Russell, Russell hit like a super deep three. And I was like. Wait, isn't that the shot. same year, though, that we took, OKC took them to seven games? Yeah, same year. Bro, that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and, and I ain't going to. We'll, we'll, we'll say a Russell Westbrook discussion. For yeah, 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 yeah. I blame him for, for a part, lot man. of why. KD doesn't have three to four rings right now. Yeah, like I so, do. I'll, I'll, so let me ask you this: Does he want another? Does KD want another? He and he needs he one. If I'm being honest, he needs one. He, he, he needs to win one. I'm not gonna say with Dallas bro, look, third. Like, like if just, he's gonna win it, he got to win in the next two to three years. He got because win. It's, it's coming to an end. It is. I mean, it, you know, it, it's eventually gonna happen. But he, he for his legacy, for me. For me, so, and for a lot can of Can I people. say something real quick? No. This yeah. year, and I say this every year about KD, and that when people listen to this, they're going to laugh because I say this every year about KD. But this year, it's to me, it's going to be the most wide. With, with them beating the Nuggets last night, they gave me a lot of hope for the playoffs. If Because they're the AC, so they will have to go against the young Minnesota team. I remember a couple years ago when uh, the Lakers went against the two seed? Forgot, and they put them out. Who was it? Was it Memphis? Memphis. It was Memphis. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be the same thing this year with the with the Suns. I do. So it's possible. it's possible. So let's switch gears again. Um, let's get to 2K. Let's do it. Let's get to 2K, man. So let's do for it. Those who don't know, um, me, me and, and Wavy have been a part of a uh a 2K yeah. league of of brothers um in the last couple years. It's it's allowed us to really meet a lot of different brothers. Um, have different, you know, association, different friends with with these with these guys. So it's been great. Um, but then, it, of course, you do have the other side of it. It's a league, so you got to compete. You're trying um, to win, and you want to win. You want to win. So from a, a competition standpoint, like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna skip that part because we competing, and I think a lot of times when the you know the thick of the competition. You know, things are things can be said, things can be done, but mm -hmm. you're one of the probably the more competitive players in our in our group in our chat. So number mm -hmm. one, like what makes you so like what 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 made you 
so competitive. And then the other the other piece of that would be, do you feel like that makes you, because you have a narrative that, hey, you're hard to play with. Do you think that that has played? False in- narrative, by the way. And I, I'm going to get to that. I'm yeah. I, like, uh, number one, what makes me that way? Uh, I'm, I'm like that in real life. And I'm, I'm my, look, and you know it, and sometimes it's to a fault. I'm myself at the hall. I'm myself at my house. I'm myself at your house. I'm myself on the game. I'm myself out in public. Mm-hmm. That is who I am. I'm sorry. I've tried to change it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Number two, uh, I go into the mentality, and I'm gonna let, let you deep dive into my mindset. I go into the the games on 2K with when we're playing files or in the league that this person, and it's I, I and I guess I've got I, I was doing this before even but they told the story of Michael Jordan and how he used to make up narratives in his head. Yeah. I make up narratives in my head like this person don't respect me at the game, so I got to show them why I'm good, or mm-hmm. this person said this about me, so I got to show them. And or this person, I feel like this person is better than me. That's what that's my that's my number one go to. I feel like they they're better than me, so I want to be better than. Them. So I'm gonna work on what I need to work on. Like I really enjoy playing 2K. I lo- I love playing the game. I think it's a good game. I think we complain about it a lot every year, but I'm all kidding. in all, it's a good game, bro. It's a good game, bro. We enjoy it. It helps us. To, we get laugh. We we do more. Believe it or not, we do more we do. laughing than we do arguing. We do a lot of laughing. We do a lot of laughing. We do a lot of laughing. Now, we might go, go in on somebody for too long and hurt their feelings because yeah. I know I've had my feelings hurt on there. Yeah. But but I feel like we do a lot more laughing. As far as me, like, I see guys, you know, get a lot. I feel like I don't get the respect I deserve. Uh, like, w- especially when we're picking, like, fives. Like, I, you know, I, I, I used to consistently be number one. Oh, I'm kidding. Chris first. Well, we got some new guys come in and, yeah. You know, they're I guess they're easier to play with or they're better or whatever. And they get picked up first. Well, that kind of motivates me too. Like, oh, you 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 pick you pick me third, third, I'm the third. That's you know what I mean? Like my that's my mindset with everything. Like I go in with the attitude of this person's better than me, but I also know what I'm capable of. And like that's what's helped me to excel, especially on like our championship team. Like, I knew I was the best center in the league. I knew I was. It was by far no question. But, like, we weren't producing in the regular season, so I feel yeah. like people didn't respect us. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to give you my perspective on the championship run. I literally was like, if we get in, I told you, said, remember, I said, we because, you know, Ryan had lost. I said, we in. I said, and I told you after we beat, uh, who was it? It was the second seed that season. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it helped us get in. Uh, with, uh, it, James team? No, no. I think it, no. James was last. So, uh, was it? Austin? No, Austin was third seed. It was, who was who the other team was. I can't think of the other team. So who was all the? Uh, hey, what? but anyway, we yeah. beat them, and I told you it's on Twitch. You can go watch it. It was one of our last games of the first season. I said, said, I guarantee a championship. I said we just won that game. I guarantee a championship. Then the very next day in fives, I think I went against Austin and Jante. They were both on big. And also made a super dominant big. Yeah. And I cooked them. I yeah. cooked both of them at the same time. I was yeah. like, oh, we winning, bro. We winning. Yeah. So no, you like, went, you went on about a probably like a two-week, like two, just, three weeks, bro. Tear. Uh, just killing. And Sporting that's them. actually what made me, you know, because you know, you know, we had Ace and you know, yeah. Ace, uh, a very good point guard. You know, I, you know, and we had, you know, pieces around you and him that was really right. hit you guys. And I knew going into it, like I and you can and you and you know you always kept saying too, like, hey man, play through me, play through me. But the same yes. time, I wanted to make sure everybody else got love. But that's right. I going into that that first round, I was like, you know what, BG on the first, they the best team in the league. But it's a it he can't do anything with Chris, and you know they made M wheel guard you, he can't do nothing with Chris. So we had to kind of go back to like basically how we started the beginning. It was old school. We started at the beginning of the season. Very like, slow pace. Yeah. Old school. Slow it down. Play good defense. <laughs> get down the other side. Yep. Out there. Like, he got to stop us. Or double team. Yep. Double team. So, like, bef- before I get into, like, this, like, particulars, what about, um, like, so, and, and I guess this kind of goes back into the, the league. <laughs> now, the NBA, but, or, the, or mm, anyway, um, <laughs> the league you're in. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, literally, like, 
at the end of the day, we all vote like for who's who's you know MVP, DPOY, who's okay. MVP, all these different things, right? It's time for me to just talk my stuff. <laughs> and, and because of the narrative that's yes. surrounding you, there's a lot of people that use that to not really show the respect mm -hmm. of love that needs to be shown. Yep. So like which, how which I that... don't understand because yeah. I would respect the person personally that talks trash to everybody, but then he comes and yeah, you can't beat him. Like I feel like they feel like I should be like fake humble. And I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna bring up somebody. I'm a Cat Williams them. I'm gonna bring up somebody. <laughs> He's a Cat Williams. Austin White. My boy, love him to yeah. death. Love him to death. And he gonna hear this interview. Love him to death. Fake humble. Austin ain't humble. Listen to his twitches. He they can't guard me. He sucks. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He's not humble. But because he don't talk to people in the manner that I talk to them and I and let them know, like, you're not as good as me, he get love. He's won, what, four MVPs? Three MVP, three, four MVPs, bro? A lot. A lot. I mean, like, even and, and like even with uh Phil winning the finals MVP, I did not have a problem with it. It was the demonstrative, oh, he made the difference in the series. Yeah, Bro, yeah. I'm getting double team and still averaging 14. Uh, what was I averaging? 16 and 10? Yeah, no, it was, Easy? Like, 12, it was like 12, 13. It was, yeah. Bro, like, bro, like I was going crazy, bro. Like with like two blocks. Two blocks a game. And I didn't get it. And I got player to get if I got player to game three out of the four games we played on 2K. Come on, bro. Yeah. Give it two games. Like, yeah, he's finals MVP. Right. Like, yeah. Like, and I, I'm not hating on Phil at all. I love Phil. He's a great teammate. And he exactly. was our glue guy. He was one of our he glue was. guys. He was. He was. But come on, man. Yeah. And then for certain ones in the league to tell me, oh, we weren't giving it to you because your head's already big enough. Right. And, and, and that's the crazy part, bro. So LeBron, yeah. so yeah. Kobe brought, they're basically Kobe and me because that's the reason Kobe didn't win a lot of MVPs because he was already arrogant and knew he was good. And they couldn't give him the, the validation, which it drove him to win more championships. I don't understand. He might, maybe if you gave him MVP or two, he would have three rings instead of five. Let's be real. Yep. Like, even it's, if I if I play next season, because I'm strongly considering sitting out uh, at just some of the direction that the league is going in, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, like, I just, I'm just not. Yeah. And I might wind up playing. Don't hold me to it. I might wind up playing, but because right. I'm, I'm going to be on the point guard build this time, which I'm going to tell you this, too, and I'm going to say this on here. So people going to hear me. I'm definitely top five point guards in the league. Chat, just letting you know. I got the stats and receipts to prove it, but we're not going to go there. I play big and guard. And yeah. I'm going to tell you, playing big, I actually said, has helped me to be a good point guard, to find people, to to because I see so much at the, big, at the center position that point guards miss, and it's like I can fill in those holes when I'm on that build. But – uh, it's it's definitely tough to get. Uh, I I don't I don't want to use that language, but it's definitely tough to get messed over because yeah. Yeah. you 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 talk to people, you talk trash to people. Yeah, like so, I I keep it two K. I don't ever go personal. I don't ever be like, well, your mama said this way. That's why you look this way. That's why your job fired you two years ago. I don't say personal stuff to you. Mm -hmm. I talk about the game, but people take it. Per they say they don't, but they actually do take it personal. So. Yeah, so I, I, I've gotten over. I just I won't win another MVP. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it'll be tough, especially if if it if the voting system continues to be the way that it is. It's always going to be the the people that are cherished more than than any. Yep. But like so for, I, I guess in your in your case, because I, I think you I was going to ask this question about do you feel like it's fair or not, but I, I think you pretty much answered that because I don't. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I mean at the end of the day, it, it's definitely not the the narrative that. Cause don't get me wrong, me and you, we've had our, you know, we've had many, many, many back and forths. Um, but you've always given me my respect. That's why I give yeah. you your respect. And I think that the the biggest difference is is that for one, like I'm able to say, like even even Ace, man, even Ace, like you know, we had our little thing or whatever. And but when we wanted to, chip, I told you guys we're gonna get rings. And what happened? Right. Everybody we got. got them. I can go get my other if you want to see it, but it's in the it's in there. Hey, rock one time. Go rock let me, one let me time. Go great. I'll be right back. I'll be right yeah. back. Hold, hold let the people know. Let the people know. So for the people who don't, um, 
me and Chris happened to be on the same team season one MMA. Um, and I told everybody on the team that, you know, if we, if we got the dub, we got the win, then I would, yeah. Uh, let me stream big real quick so I can make sure we see it. Uh, a little bit more. That, oh, it's, there, there you go. Right there. So oh. this is my ring that mm -hmm. I got for winning season one of the MMA. Has way be bad boys and DPOY. Yes, sir. So I would much rather win a DPOY than an MVP. Reason being, I feel like MVP, I mean, if I score a bunch of points, get a bunch of assists, get a bunch of boards, and I have a flashy game, I can win MVP. That DPOY means something. Yes, it different. means you're scary. It means people don't want to try you. You're not getting it's tried. It's different. And I wasn't. Say it. I it's wasn't different. the whole season. I played excellent defense. Yeah. And the playoffs, I play excellent defense. And of course, I, who won it? Who won it? Vision. Oh, Vision. Vision. He. Yeah. Yeah. But Vision talked. I, I would say this, you know, he, he really talked his way into that one. And, and, you know, and I'll give him respect too, because they were, you know, number two seed. Um, he had, I mean, listen, four blocks. Gave him four to five blocks is four or five blocks a game. That's it's a lot four to five blocks, but he wasn't getting them on me. Yeah, it's oh, a lot of time, you know, but, you know, there, there were a zone defense as well. Um, you know, we, we play heavy, heavy man. Um, and then, you know, we kind of threw zone in and like in, as a wrinkle, you know, towards, right. but so I'm, I'm gonna keep it to being, this is this, this championship is more cherished than my first one with TGM because I'm not gonna lie. When we picked up Greg, I fully expected to win a championship. And I'm not gonna lie, the original bad boys, uh, they put they pushed us to our limit, but and I was actually I won that championship in this living room that I'm sitting in right now. It was like midnight in December in November. It was on yeah. Thanksgiving week. It was and we, we I mean we played late, bro. Everybody five was five games was, in a row. We played yeah, five games five in a row. Five games in a row. Yeah. And when I I don't know how the wives dealt with us then I, we, it's definitely has changed now. We can't do that now. We nah, had nah, nah, nah. Years. Put that, but like play. this ring is more cherished because of the hate we got, the vitriol, oh, man, being crazy. the fourth seed, oh, my down in the oh. number one seed in two games, and then beating one of the best 2K players I've ever came across in my life in Austin. And I mean, and then I ain't gonna lie, JP, I love you, but you, <laughs> that that finals was super personal for me. And saying <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, we had we had a feature, we had a feature, bro. Yeah, and I, and I think you'll get one eventually, but uh. This was this was very this has got a special place in my heart. Yeah, yeah, we, I, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. So what did we go say it four and four and eight? We we five and eight? um we won four no, games. Five, that was like so we we won we we swept the first round two wins yes. two zero and then in the, in the finals we on, we went three and one. I'm talking about the regular season. We went four and eight, right? Oh, four and seven. We four were below five hundred and we yeah. got one of these. Yeah, come on, yeah. bro. Yeah, we was we was the last team to get in, and, and so that that definitely was like a a crazy run. But I knew, and, and you know, and, and BG knew because he didn't he wanted to avoid us too. Like we knew we had the pieces, we just had to get it together and yeah. find and we, and we found it. And I'm gonna tell you this: if we could have kept everything together this yeah. season, uh, even with Tay, <clears throat> yeah, at point guard and you on the team, and we could have and. I, I knew they weren't gonna let us get Neil, but if they had to let us get that team set, oh, I am a thousand oh, and two over. percent confident it's we over. win another ring. It's over. I don't. I don't even know if we we the made reason. One and more I'm gonna game. say this too: they're never gonna admit it, front office. But y'all did not let us pick up Neil because we beat Strictly Business the way we beat them. It wasn't even a contest, nope. and Strictly Business played hard, and that was off no practice. Like that was no the first game together, and raw. we came in there raw. Yeah, and like literally, I mean, literally, like it was no like we we were it, to me. I and that's why you know I, I had to part ways or whatever, and mainly be, you know when I told the story on past episodes of Truth by Wrong. So if you got questions, you can go to episode one and episode two. But um, but it it, it that's why I just couldn't stand by that because it was just so. It was just, it was just too much. But anyway, I don't want to, I don't want to go down that route. Oh. Be, but yeah. I will say we, I, 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 now some of the points you made, I, I definitely agree with, and some points I didn't agree with. But the point where you said that I get messed over because of my personality, and that we had to pick up Neil, we would have won a championship. Well, yes, I'm riding with you. I'm, I'm in the passenger seat. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Riding with you. No, I mean they know. They know that. That's the reason why I was such a. That's why Wayne. It was oh, okay. Yeah, you can pick Wayne. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. But, but Neil. Ah, uh, mm-mm, no, 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 no. But so I, I want to shift gears a little bit. I still want to talk about the two K thing, but I, I got a few more questions, and I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Uh, so there's a few things I always ask ask uh people when they come on with interview. Number one is who is because everybody talks about you know who's the the best this the best that. Number one question is, who do you feel is the most overrated player that we have in our group? And who do you also feel is the most underrated, undervalued person that don't get talked about enough? Undervalued? I'm going to start there real easy because that's an easy one. Uh, Lion Watkins. Mm. I feel like Lion is a number one pick. I feel like he's just as good as your Jontes, just as good as your Austin, just as good as your Graves, just as good as your Meads, just as good as your... Sats. I mean, I uh, people, your aces. I mean, look, he's in the finals in his first season back full time. Yeah, I agree. Overrated? I'm going to roll feathers with this one. Okay, guys. And again, I'm going to preface this with saying that, that, do I really want to go that way out? I mean, y'all want you to tell. This is the truth by Wavy, though. So either way, I the want truth you to by Wavy. Yeah, most overrated. I gotta go with Ace. Who? Ace. Gotta go with oh. Ace. Mm. I feel like if he was as good as he claims he is, Mister, I can go get a bucket whenever. You wouldn't have had no trouble with with the Crusaders because. The bad boys did not have trouble with the Crusaders this year, this this regular yeah. season. We beat them. Yeah. Seriously. What was it? Two to two? Three to I mean, I, we've had hey. success against that team. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like it's a now hey, don't get me wrong. Ace is great. He's a great point guard. He's a great playmaker. But he held back Robbie. Mm. He held back uh but really he held back Robbie, who was supposed to be his first option to go to score. Get a bucket. Yeah. To go get a bucket. So and and you know, sometimes all that playmaking, all that wizardry, got come off the ball. Uh, you know, got come it, off. It came back to bite him in the butt. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with, as far as right now, because and then you know, I thought they were gonna win a the championship. They were rolling. They were rolling. I thought they were the best team in the league. Like that. Me on strictly business. I thought that <laughs> for a minute they were the best team in the league. I was like, man, that's a good team. But so who who are you? Uh, I gotta ask you, who are your guys, real quick. Who you um, think's overrated? I, I I will reveal that in a later episode. Okay, cool. Okay, I need to know. I need to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, Mine yeah. Mine is Yeah, because eventually, eventually I'm going to put myself in the hot seat, and then I'll probably I'll talk about it then, but you know, I'll I wait for that. So next question. Like, there are some guys that can only play one style, one position. And yes. they're, they, be re- they may be really great at it, but they, they can't go – Oh, I know the guy you're talking about, but go so, ahead. But who do you feel is the most versatile player, a player that is good at the one – they can play any position, and they're, like, super effective, super versatile. Joker credit. Austin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, you throw up, I hate giving them credit. Oh, man. Austin can play point. Austin can play two. Austin can play lock. Austin can play center. Austin. Like, yeah. if it's one guy and I don't do not feel like you're better than me by any bounds of the imagination, Austin, yeah. you, I think you've been very fortunate with some of the teams you've been on, and I feel like you, you've you gotten the opportunity to showcase. But I will say, if it's one guy that I'll be like, look, this joker, hands down, it'd be Austin. Austin. And yeah. a close second? No, I can't. I can't. I was going to say Greg, but Greg plays like Brian on his big. Yeah, Bruh, yeah, Greg yeah. plays like Brian on Brian. He played yeah. like Brian on his point guard. Yeah, yeah. So. One through three, one through three. He he, you know he, he got a lot. Yeah. He got it, but no, not no. Yeah, no. yeah. Also, I'm a, I'm gonna put myself in there to go from. I can play. I, I'm good off ball. I'm good on ball. Like I, I feel like I'm one of those guys. Too. I can play center. Like I feel I like I'm one it. of those versatile guys. Like yeah. a guy that I feel isn't as versatile. Uh, who's super good at the game is, uh, Ajante. I feel like Ajante is a good point. I feel like he's a good two. I feel like he's a good lock. But as far as big, no. Yeah, I had another guess. But who, who expects him to play as potent 
by the way, he's been the best at two K twenty. Uh, what we on four by far this season. He's been the best. He's got the most wins and fives. People pick him up first. He's he's the he's the best right now. I'm I'm hands down, hands down. He's the best. But yeah. I, he ain't saying me a big so so I can't give. So this is the next the next thing. I got two more questions and I'm now. Go ahead. So what we do here is we create what we call, and you know this name, Voltron. We create a Voltron. And this Voltron, you're going to, excluding yourself, you can't choose yourself, there are going to be five categories that you can steal from a player that we know a chat in the chat. And you mm-hmm. categories is going to be handles, scoring, playmaking, finishing, and defense. And then that that's going to be able to create the ultimate Voltron Ooh. unstoppable player. Got you. So we're gonna start. I got it in my head. Let me know the you handles. Who, who, who handles you get? Handles. Uh, John Satterfield, easy. Satterfield. Yeah, he tough. Satterfield, easy. He tough. he tough. All right. So then scoring the ball. Who three level score? Bucket. John say Bullet, easy. Bullet. So, all right. Playmaking. Who setting the table? Austin White, easy. Austin White. Yeah, yeah. He, he and. Finishing. I've had my best games playing with him. I yeah. don't know why he don't want to play with play me in the regular season, bro. I, I I would love. I mean, like, bro, I'll be. I'll defer. You got it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Like, and, go ahead. Yeah, and finishing, Duncan, acrobat, layup, whole deal. Greg Griggs. Mmm, he tough. I want to say Robbie, but Robbie ain't. It ain't the Robbie at all, bro. Greg yeah, Griggs. yeah. He, he, he come Greg in with that, with that bunny hop. Spin. By the way, yeah, he Greg. Tough. And and not gonna lie, he has been my favorite teammate. I've, and, and I love you said, but he's oh, yeah, been my I favorite love. teammate I ever had. Great. Yeah. I would I would I would get my left foot to play with that joke again in wow. the season. That's I, not, I, that's, like I whoa. love playing with Greg, bro. Wow. I love playing with that dude, bro. You heard it here live. Right up, bro. Is... I love playing with that dude, wow. bro. Like, I like not <laughs> I do. I love playing with Greg, bro. Wow, I that's love tough. It. That's tough. I ain't saying I love it, bro. That's breaking news. I got yes. to I got to clip this. I got to clip that and make that a separate whole separate thing. <laughs> so, what about last thing? Defense, clampers, locks, blocks, steals. Lewis Kenlock. Mmm. Man, thank you. I love when like somebody Luke. Another joker that I would get my left foot to play with in the season because I know he not going to give easy buckets up. Yes, man. You know what? I, I respect that so much because, like, the un unheralded, like, he don't get enough love, I think, as, like. best de- To me, he's the best per- defender on Strictly Business. Versatile. He, he doesn't have a hole. Got blocks, got steals, can stand from his man. Yeah, man. Luke, Luke. And we'll hit a shot for you. Yeah. I, any plus he can play any. And zone. Robbie, don't call me about the slashing thing. Greg got you this year, bro. <laughs> he done had your last two two Ks, honestly. You know. I'm sorry, bro. At the top of his lungs, he's gonna call you. At the yeah, he called me. Lungs. So last thing here. Now, this one you can include yourself. This is gonna be called, you know, Chris's best lineup. Now, this is you're gonna first off, you're gonna put yourself in the position that you want to play. And then you're gonna surround yourself with the teammates that you want. We go death, death being pointed at the planet. We got to get a W. Yes, de- boom. There you go. All right. So at point guard. No, what, what position you playing first? Oh, oh, I'm I'm at the five. You are at the five? Oh, okay, okay. you you're at the five. big. At the All right, five. boom. So then who? Uh, who trying to power forward, Lou. Lou. Okay. I need a defender. I need a defender yep, a yep. lot. Yep, he'll back uh, you up with three bounds. This who's I'm a this at three, and on his lock Austin. Ooh, yeah, 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 tough. Okay, at the two, Lion, and, and at the one. Position. I mean, it's, it's, it's I've been talking about position. the whole time. At the one, Ajante, easy, Ajante. Bullock, easy, oh. easy. Oh. I, that's an easy dub right there. So Bullock at the one. My mindset on the center is I'm here to defend. I'm here to get boards. Yeah, and if you get my head is gonna be, I'm here to, and if you get I'm here to guard ball and cause havoc. Lou is gonna be, I'm here to not give up any back doors, help Chris rebound. Lion and Ajante are, we're gonna score. We're gonna get buckets. That's gonna get buckets. There's no, we're not, that's gonna be a hard lineup to beat. And we've been, that team has been beat before, trust me. I've I've ran it, but it's It's gonna be tough. So, something. So, man, listen, there you have it. We got truth by wavy, truth by wavy. We got the truth, nothing but the truth. 
This is Watch Your Narrative Podcast. Once again, please go follow us on, on X. You know, it used to be Twitter. It's called X now. Uh, at Narrative Watch. At Narrative Watch. Watch Your Narrative. So that way you can know when these episodes will be dropping. Uh, uh, so say, let me get one more thing, five, if you don't mind. So I'm trying to com- uh, com- 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 uh, combine, I guess, or yes. collab. Collab with yes, said sir. on a possible college football podcast. Um, here in the next few months, I'm gonna I'm pitch my idea to him, see if he like it, and see if we can pick that a part of the uh, oh, WYN uh, oh, yeah, uh, lineup. Oh, uh, thank you for the invite. I oh, yeah. appreciate you. Uh, let me have my little spiel. Uh, but you can go ahead and finish your outro. I just wanted to yeah, throw yeah, that. Yeah. In so, and that you know, watch your narrative presents. You know that it's it's coming. It's coming. College football. You know, I wish I would have did it when Saban was around. It's over. It's over, baby. That's a whole nother story. Don't I get emotional. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I know it's still soft. I'm, I'm yeah. waiting. That second next to Melo when Melo retired, yeah. I was hurt. Yeah. I was hurt. Hey, Dude. I was a little bit. Bro. I was like, dang, that might be him. But yeah. hey, oh, but listen, we're on YouTube. We're on Spotify. Watch your Apple. present Olive. Truth by Rome, and then also please make sure you go watch to watch your narrative podcast. Um, you got the big wavy one. You got Ace Boogie. You got Hoop Lover. You got Neb. You got uh uh that's a hoop love. We got producer day. We got all the heavy. And I will be returning to the I show. Think. I just okay. had to take yeah. A- we waiting on it. We waiting on you. You been <laughs> MIA. We we gonna talk about it later. But hey man, we appreciate you guys, man. Watch your narrative. We out.